So now we know the basic two-dimensional shapes. Let's take a look at some three-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional mean it has three axes, so it has a height, a length, and a width. In machining, for example with CNC machines, this is known as an axis. And it is known as the X, Y, Z axis. The first shape we'll look at is this. Now in two dimensional, this will be a square. In three dimensions, this is a cube. And if something has a cube shape, we say it is cubic. Here is a two dimensional shape, would be the circle. And here in three dimensions, this is called a cylinder. And if things have a cylinder shape, we say it's cylindrical. Here is another shape that is circular, but this is hollow, so inside the circle is empty. And so in three dimensions, we call this a tube. And if something has this shape and properties, we call it tubular. Here is the first of two triangular shapes in three dimensional. Here, this one is called a cone. The reason for that is the base of the triangle is round or circular. Here is another triangular shape, and this one is called a pyramid. And the reason for this is that the base is a square. So a square base is a pyramid, and a round base is a cone. And you describe something as having a cone shaped or is conical. And for a pyramid, you say it's pyramidical or pyramid shape. And here we've got a three dimensional um, spiral shape. This is called a helix. And if something has the shape, we call it helical. So lots of drill bits are called helical. This shape is a, is a hemisphere. And something that has the shape three dimensionally is called hemispherical. And that's quite a big mouthful of word. So most people will call this a dome or dome shaped. Although there is a difference between a dome and a hemisphere. But I would think that most people will tell you that this is a dome. So this is dome shape. Here is circular shape in two dimension. And in three dimensions we'd call this a sphere. And if something has this shape. We call it spherical, although in easy English, most people would call it ball shape. And the final shape that we have here is also triangular based. This triangular shape describes something that is thinner at one edge and thicker at another edge. And this is called a wedge. And if something has the shape, it's a wedge or wedge shape. Why not take your English learning to the next level? Be more interactive. Learn deeper. On my new website, you can test your learning with a quiz. You can practice listening for the words in context. And most important, you have the chance to speak the words. Helping you with your pronunciation, how you say the words, and building your confidence in speaking technical English vocabulary.